Hey guys, welcome to Cute Tea Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Rosé from her APT music video. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, let's first start off at the top and let's draw the eyes. Let's start with two lines going down, leaving a gap in the middle. And then curve it up and out slightly. And then from the ends, let's curve it back down and in. Now stick in the top line and the outside line up slightly. Now to finish drawing the eyes, I'm going to zoom in. Let's move inside and let's draw a circular curve. And then let's add an oval in the center. And color it in black. And then add another circle on the top left. And lastly, for the eyes, let's add some curved lines for the eyelashes. And that's it for the eyes. Now let's hop on top and let's draw the eyebrows. Let's start with the curve on top of each eye. And then bring it up in the center. And then another curve on top. And that's it for the eyes. Now let's move up and let's start drawing the hair. Let's start on top in the center and let's draw a curve line out. And wave it down on top of each eye. and then a wavy line back up. Now on both sides, let's step down and let's draw another wavy line all the way down. Like this. And then let's move out and let's draw another wavy line to close it off. Now on top in the center, let's draw two more curves going out. Now before we finish drawing the hair, let's move in and let's draw the shape of the face. Let's start inside and let's draw two angles going down and in. And then curve them down, meeting at a point for the chin. Now let's hop inside and let's draw a small curve for the nose and a curve across for the mouth. Now that we have the shape of the face, let's move back up and finish drawing the hair. Let's start on top in the center and let's draw a curve out and bring it down. And the same on the right side. Now on the sides, let's add the buns. Let's draw a wavy line out and curve it down. Then another wavy line underneath, curling it back up. Now let's draw a curve back into the face, bringing it behind the hair. And that's it for the head. Now let's move down and draw the body. Let's start with the curve down and out on both sides for the neck. And then bring it out for the shoulders. Now 
Now let's hop in and let's draw a curve down. And then bring it down for the inside of the jacket. Now let's hop out to the shoulders and let's angle it in. Then bring it down. And close it off at the bottom. Now that we have the shape of the jacket, let's move in and add some details. At the top, let's draw a V-shaped point. And then another longer one underneath for the collar. And then add a small circle inside each of the points. Now underneath the collar, we're going to draw zippers going down. Let's draw the top of the zipper. And then two lines underneath. And close it off at the bottom. Now from the sides, let's draw a diagonal rectangle for another zipper. And then move down and we're going to draw a larger sideways rectangle for the pocket. And then add a circle inside. Now that we're done the center of the jacket, let's move in and let's draw the tank top. Let's start in between and let's draw a curve across. And then a line across underneath here. Now from the neck, let's draw the necklaces. Let's start with two angles going down and over to the right side. And then two more longer ones on the left side. At the end of the right necklace, let's add a heart. And a circle at the end of the other one. Now that we're done the tank top and necklaces, let's move down and let's add the skirt. Let's start inside and let's draw a curve across for the top of the skirt. Then underneath the jacket, let's draw two angles going out. And then on the right side, let's draw a V-shaped notch up. And then curves to close off each side of the skirt. Now top inside the skirt and let's add the belts. At the top, let's draw two curves across for the first one. And then inside this belt for the buckle, let's draw two lines down. And add a rectangle inside. Now for the next belt underneath, let's start on the right and let's draw two angles down and over to the left side. And a curve at the end. And then on top of this section, let's draw another curve across. Now let's add some details. In the top section, let's add a circle. Now in the next section, let's start with two curves on the right side. Then a circle next to it on the left. Then two lines down. And then two more circles in the end section. And that's it for the belt. Next, let's hop out and let's add the arms. From the shoulders, let's draw angles going down like this. Then at the end, let's curve it back in and bring it up. And then add another curve inside at the bottom of the sleeves. 
Now at the ends, let's add the hands. Let's start with a curve down and back up for the thumbs. Then hop out and let's draw an angled line down. Then let's curve it out and back around to close off the hands. And that's it for the upper body. Now let's move down and add the legs. Underneath, let's draw two angles on the left and two on the right. And then bring both of the lines going down. And a curve across at the bottom. Now let's move inside the legs and let's add another curve for the socks. And now at the bottom, let's add the shoes. Let's draw two angles going out underneath each leg. And a curve across at the bottom. Now from the sides, let's bring it down slightly. And another curve across. Now let's hop inside each shoe and let's draw two lines down. And angle it back out at the bottom. Then let's draw the laces in between with X shapes. And that's it for rosé, now let's quickly color it in. And done, hope you enjoyed drawing along with me and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.